Coda, toda la coda con los metales. One, two, one, two. One visit to Peru, our father brings back uh, Peruvian instruments, uh, cajon. He was just like, I want you guys to play this. And they were like, what? They don't even know how to play. So my dad, he's, he's not a musician, but he, you know, he's always wanted to be one. And later on, he brought the bongos, which that's what I play now. Um, he brought another cajon. He started buying congas. Like before we knew it, my dad just filled up our house with instruments. He would take us to restaurants. Be like, hey, you know, my sons, they know how to play music. Can you just give them a shot? Just let them, you know, do, do their thing. So, you know, we were kids. He wanted us to also learn about our heritage and put us into dance. Yeah. We would learn like every part of Peru, little by little. So that's kind of where the dancing aspect came into play. When I was a young kid, he actually used to take me to the practices. I was already experiencing that, the Latin dance at a very young age. And I remember them, I was just like, I want to do this when I'm in high school. Joining the Latin dance team, it actually helped me you know, with what I'm doing now, with the counts and a lot of the music that we would listen to and rehearse with back then is a lot of the music that we actually play now. This program allows us to reach students, to encourage them that there is a future you know, in art. There's a future in music, there's a future in dance. Even, even until today, we work with ex-alumni from, from different schools in the sense that they dance on stage with us. Not just dancers, you know, we also had people, ex-alumni that have helped us with sound, that, has, that have yeah. helped us with video. A full dedication you know, can get you really far.